see your driver's license. Open the door, dude. Go for in the secondary, sir. Pull over on the side so we can do a vehicle okay. inspection right over For there. what reason? Why are you scared of the law? I'm not scared of the law. Where are you hiding from? You scared of the dark? Maybe. Huh? I might be. Yeah, I believe you are. Grown man scared of the dark. That sounds kind of funny to me. Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. Today's story was submitted by Ashton of the Knowledge is Power channel. I recently covered another incident featuring Ashton. I got a couple of questions for you. Okay, I'm Are not you? gonna answer any of them. Okay, so do you just wanna go to jail? No. Have you been drinking tonight? I'm not gonna answer any of your questions. Okay. Are you willing to do some field sobriety evaluations? Absolutely not. Most people fail those sober. People spend entirely too much time online and they are roadside attorneys. He has kindly extended the opportunity for me to cover this one as well. But before we get into the story, today's video is sponsored by Kamikoto. Kamikoto makes great Japanese steel kitchen knives. Using more than 800 years of traditional techniques from Honshu, Japan, all of their knives are made from steel, sourced from Japanese mills. Each knife or set is delivered in a beautiful, heavy-duty ash wood box, which makes for an excellent presentation for a holiday gift. Each Kamikoto knife goes through a rigorous 19-step process that takes several years from start to finish to complete. With more than a hundred years of experience between them, their expert bladesmiths forge and shape raw steel into hardy blades polishing and sharpening them to an excruciatingly fine single bevel edge. Every knife is individually inspected. Kamikoto is so confident about their knives that each one comes with a lifetime guarantee that is also backed by their outstanding customer service. Because of that single bevel edge, you can easily maintain the blade with one of Kamikoto's sharpening whetstones. Their product range features a vast array of Japanese steel knives. I personally got the three-piece Kanpeki knife set, which comes with the Nikiri vegetable knife, the slicing knife, and a utility knife, and they are honestly the sharpest knives I've ever owned. Oh my god, dude, this is the sharpest knife I've ever used in my life. This thing is awesome. That's cool. They are also used by several chefs working at Michelin star restaurants. Kamikoto is conducting a huge sale, offering our viewers $50 off any purchase that they make with discount code LACKLUSTER. A big thanks to Kamikoto for sponsoring this video. To get your set, use the link down below or in the info card above. On February 20th, 2014, Ashton noticed a DUI checkpoint on Dupree and King Arthur Drive in Woodstock, Georgia. Ashton drove into the checkpoint and was flagged down for inspection by two unidentified officers while open carrying. Howdy. How's it going? Going good about yourself. Oh, you went down there, but... I'm comfortable right there. Do what? I'm, com I'm comfortable with it right there. You comfortable with it right there? Yes, sir. Let me see your driver's license. Open the door, dude. Uh, if you want to take back, you can roll that window down for me. What'd you say, sir? Sorry. What did you say? Because he can't hardly hear you. That's why. If you roll the window down, we're just out looking for drunks, man. We're not here to hurt you or whatever. That's fine. I okay. Just... Pull over down that side. Yeah, I just made it. I'm gonna check the vehicle. Okay. For what reason do you have to detain me to pull me over into secondary, sir? Pull over on the side so we can do a vehicle inspection right over for there. For what reason? Are you suspecting huh? me of committing a crime? Do what, buddy? Have you suspected me of committing a crime? Currently, 11 states have banned DUI checkpoints because they are considered to be unconstitutional, as they are in fact an egregious violation of the Fourth Amendment that uses fear to circumnavigate unlawful searches and seizures. Unfortunately, the Supreme Court ruled in Michigan State Police v. Sitz that these checkpoints are constitutional as long as they serve a specific government interest, are minimally intrusive, and follow specific guidelines. Nobody wants intoxicated drivers on the road, and many will argue that they would prefer these checkpoints exist. However, including that the checkpoints can be intrusive at all is complete hypocrisy. Stopping every car on the road might make it easier to prevent the very few drunk drivers that are actually caught, but that is an insufficient justification for banning the requirement of individualized suspicion. The jurisdictions that allow sobriety checkpoints often carve out specific exemptions to their normal civil protections in order to allow sobriety checkpoints. So what's the point of having civil protections if the state can disregard them at will? One of the troopers has attempted to gain unlawful entry into Ashton's vehicle, and because Ashton didn't fall in line and obey, and after noticing his camera, he is ordered to the secondary inspection lane as the troopers look for anything they can find to bring unwarranted harm into Ashton's life. Could well, is there anything wrong with the car that we need to know about? Not that I know, sir. Oh, okay, all right. Pull out of here, I'm gonna check your tires. I think they're looking real close for me. They're looking what? Almost illegal. They're almost too slick. Almost illegal. All right. 
Where would you like me to pull? Do what? Where would you like me to pull over? Over behind that car. Behind that one? Yep. Close, man. So I'm being pulled into secondary because my tires might be illegal. That's interesting. Yeah, thank correct on your license. You still live at the same address? I do, sir. Right, sit tight for me, okay? Put in my car and park. This is Georgia State Patrol. For the record, they tried to open my door just because I wouldn't roll my window down all the way before asking for my license or anything. They're looking at my front right tire, apparently. So they said they were looking for drunks. Yes, sir. Why does that mean? Uh, yes, sir. He wants to show you a tire out here, man. It's slick. I'd prefer to not get out of my vehicle. <laughs> I think he needs one. Think about just going to take He wants to show you, dude, where it's slick out here. For your safety, that way you can see about getting you another tire. That's it. Let me ask you something. Are you scared? To get out of my vehicle? Yes, sir. You are? Yes, sir. Why are you scared of the law? I'm not scared of the law. Where are you hiding from? I'm not hiding from anything, sir. Okay, well, why are you scared to get out? Because I feel safer. You scared of the dark? Maybe. Huh? I might be. Yeah, I believe you are. Grown man scared of the dark. That sounds kind of funny to me. <laughs> sounds funny. After a few moments, the troopers return with an attempt to bait Ashton out of the vehicle by stating that his tires are almost illegal, which would mean that they are legal, but Ashton politely refuses the request to view his possibly slick tires, and the trooper makes a few unprofessional remarks, perhaps to solicit a negative response by attacking Ashton's ego. It could be the only language the trooper speaks, and if Ashton wasn't more prepared for the officer's attempts to escalate, this encounter may have gone sideways rather quickly. Quickly. Keep in mind that in another questionable ruling by the Supreme Court, Pennsylvania v. Mims, an officer can order you out of your vehicle on a lawful traffic stop, and despite your convictions of how unconstitutional these checkpoints may be, if you are ordered to exit, you must. The troopers continue to look for reasons to hem Ashton up. How about hit your blinkers, folks? Turn your right blinker on. Turn your right blinker on. I have no need to turn my blinkers on right yeah. now. I have no need to turn my blinkers on right now. He's doing a vehicle inspection. He wants to check your vehicle. Turn your right blinker on. Thank you. Now turn your left blinker on. Hit your brakes. Tap your brakes. Put your car in reverse to make sure your backup lights are working. All right. Put it back park. He'll come around to the front. Check the front blinkers now. Yes, sir. Note they're shining the light in the camera. Funny. Very entertaining. Very sad. I'm surprised my heart's not racing as much as I thought it would. I guess I've watched too many videos. I know what to expect. The first thing they said is they were looking for drunks. Still haven't been asked if I'd been drinking or not yet. Funny. Suddenly it doesn't seem to be that's what they're looking for. If I see this vehicle out on the road again. Yes, sir. I'm gonna stop it just because that tire on the right front. Tire on the right it's front. Very close. In what way? It so needs, I can change it? Needs a tire replaced. 
tire replaced? Yeah, you don't Treads know Trooper too thin. Mike Freeman, do you? Who? Trooper Mike Freeman. Not that I know of. You don't know him? Remember him riding you for 84 and a 65? Yes, sir. On 575? See why he's scared to get out now. No, he was very professional. I actually had a good encounter. So I guess I'm free to go. I should have asked for name and badge number, but uh, they did the uh, hand the license as he walked away kind of thing. So I was not able to do so. After a final attempt to intimidate Ashton, he is set free without a citation or further incident. At no point during this supposed DUI checkpoint was he asked if he had been drinking. He was never asked to perform field sobriety tests or provide a chemical test either. It is likely that the troopers have a personal interest in protecting the community and want to do good, but interactions like this make it increasingly harder to believe. Be sure you head over to Ashton's channel, Knowledge is Power, and while you're there, let him know that I sent you. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below.